are guides, we are kings. We march in faith, cause we believe we can. Change the world to what it needs. Stand against our enemies, cause we can. Yeah. Kings demanding change cause we believe we can statutes and commandments that we don't know that we continue to break but what nobody wants to come learn Nobody wants to come learn how we're offending God. Nobody wants to come and learn while they're in misery every day. While they're in pain every day. You understand? We want to go off our own mind, our own ideology. Give me a... Uh... Because watch. This Bible has been long forgotten. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 21. Read. Thus saith the Lord, take heed to yourselves, Come on. and bear no burden on the Sabbath day. Do what? Bear no burden on the Sabbath day. Y'all understand that? We don't know these laws anymore. We have to humble down. We have to get retort because the more we don't, the more we're going to continue to disobey and continue to be in sin and continue to just wait for the fire. That was it. Right? Nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem. Neither carry forth a burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. Why? Because there is laws, statutes, and commandments that we have to do on this day. This is why God separated us. This is why he gave us laws to keep us separate. We don't have the same laws as everybody else. We not like everybody else. Y'all already know we better than everybody in everything. Why do y'all think that we have the same customs and heritage as everybody then? It makes no sense. We have to be different in every type of way. To look around at these people and see how superior we are, the only thing we are in is we're, we're in captivity because we broke God's laws. That's it. Everything else is what? We are superior than everybody. But our estate says otherwise. Read. Verse 23. But they obeyed not, neither inclined their ear. Neither what? Neither inclined their ear. So God prophesied that there will be nobody here inclining their ear of the word of God. Bring it out. Nobody here trying to learn what God wants. Nobody here trying to see how to get out of their oppressive state. God already said it. God know y'all. And y'all don't know yourselves. So what is he telling you to do? Come learn your history. Come learn your heritage. Out of God's mouth. Read. But they obey not, neither incline their ear. Come on. But made their neck stiff. What? But made their neck stiff. Hey, my brother. Look at that. That's an example right there. Bring it out. He made his neck stiff. He didn't even turn to see who was talking to him. Read that. But made their neck stiff. Made their neck stiff. Y'all walk past and don't even turn to see what we're talking about. God know y'all. So why don't y'all come learn about yourself? 
to learn the sin that you're in. Because everybody think they good. Read. But they obey not, neither incline their ear. Neither what? Neither incline their ear. Come on. But made their nest stick, that they might not hear, nor receive instruction. Nor what? Nor receive instruction. Because what? We want to continue in our own instructions. We are a rebellious people. And all we got to do is humble down. Give me Jeremiah 7 and 23. All we got to do is humble down. You understand that? You heard that, man? My man in the white? Come on. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 7 and verse 23. Read. But this thing command I them, Read. saying, Obey my voice. God said what? Obey my voice. Come on. And I will be your God. Read. And ye shall be my people. God says to obey his voice. That's how you should be his people. That's how you're going to get out of the state that you're in right now. Of what? Hanging out on fraud and alley, trying to get a dollar. Not having a job. Every time you go full out an app, you don't get a call back. That's how God said you're going to get success. By what? Start, start from the top. But this thing commanded I them, Come on. saying, Obey my voice. Obey my voice, you rebellious Israelites. That's right. That's what God is saying. Obey his voice. What is his voice saying? Read. And I will be your God. Come on. And ye shall be my people. He's, he's saying that if you obey him, you will be his people. Because right now, give me Hosea 5 and 15. What has happened? What has happened to the Israelite man and woman in these last days? Come on, read that. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Read. I will go and return to my place. Come on. Till they acknowledge their offense. So God said... He turned his back on us. Why? Come on. And till they acknowledge my offense. Till they acknowledge their offense. What are the offenses that we continue to do? What? Break the Sabbath. We just let, we just read laws to be done on the Sabbath day, and everybody still buying and selling. Everybody still cooking. Everybody still working. Nobody's congregating. Nobody's gathering themselves together. This is the things that we're not doing. This is the reason why God turned his back. Read that again. I will go and return to my place. Come on. Till they acknowledge their offense. Till they acknowledge their offenses. Read. And seek my face. And what? And seek my face. And seek God's face. How? Get that. How do we seek God's face? My man right here with the, uh, the army fatigue hat. How do we seek God's face? How do we seek God's face? It's out of his Bible. That's the only way we seek God's face. Is God going to come down here and literally talk to you to say you're in the midst of sin? No. If God has to, he's putting you to death. That's right. So this is what he said to do. So he don't got to put you to death. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 34, and verse 16. Come on. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. You hear that, my man? You hear that? The Bible says to do what? Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Come on. No one of these shall fail. Let me ask you a question. Has the black man failed? in the things that we're doing to uh, build up our community so far? Absolutely, right? Read that again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Come on. No one of these shall fail. No one of what? No one of these shall fail. So the things in the Bible is not going to fail. That's right. You understand? We have to what? Come back and seek this Bible. Because the things we're doing is putting us in jail. The things we're doing is breeding single parent households. The things that we're doing is what? Getting us shot down in the streets. That's the, the, 
the things that we're doing and it's what failing us. God said no one of these shall fail. Read. None shall want her mate. And we don't need nothing else but this Bible. That's right. That's right. Because what? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy. 28. Do you believe in the Bible, my brother? All praise to the Most High. You been following? Okay, all praise. All praise to the Most High. Because he what? No, matter of fact, he uh, uh, Psalms. Watch this. Because all praise to the Most High, you've been following. If you, if you can come up here a little bit, bro. All praise to the Most High. So what? You, you know that the things that was taught to us was lies, correct? Yeah. All praise to the Most High. And you know that the things that we must do is what? What have you been learning about? Basically the law. That's just commandments. Okay. Other than that, the uh, dietary law, yeah. you know, trying to deal with your brother. What have you yeah. learned about the dietary law? Uh, you know, about eating swine, uh, don't eat, you know, eat the stuff that's detrimentary to the uh, flesh. Yeah, yeah, all that. Swine, okay, so you learned about that? Okay. Almost, yeah. Alright, all first, all first. Oh, yeah. Watch this, come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 60. Read. I made haste. I what? I made haste come on. and delayed not to keep thy commandments. So you made haste to come here and what? Learn more, right? Watch this. Give me a little bit of 21. You came and said, listen, I'm trying to learn about this Bible. My soul is convicted. I feel that I've been lied to all these years. I need to know more. Watch this. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So this is another law that we must keep. You understand? Thou shalt not make baldness upon their head. So we cannot shave our heads bald. Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, we cannot have that look. That's against God. You understand? Yeah. Watch this. Read. Neither. What? Neither. Shall, Neither, come on, shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So we cannot shave our beards off. That's another law that we have to keep. You understand? Whatever, if your beard don't grow, then you just rock out. But you cannot shave it. You cannot put a razor to your face and shave your beard. You understand? Do you shave your beard? Yeah. Right. So that's a law you gotta you gotta keep. You gotta stop doing it. You understand? Everything. Your, your, your mustache, all that. You can't shave no, you can't shave none of that, bro. You understand? Alright, now watch this. Neither shall they make neither shall they mar the corners of their beard. Oh, right, 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 right. So so whatever you grow, you let it rock out. You let it grow. You can trim it like to your face, right. but not shave it off completely. Understand that? You shave it up as well, but you cannot mar it. What's the mark. purpose for shaving it all the way off, Bart? Yeah. Having it shaved all the way off. You said what's the purpose? Yeah, that keeping a, it. Oh, it's a good. commandment, but what's the purpose of keeping it a little bit? Alright, I'm going to show you. But the reason why he don't want us to shave it is because that was a custom of another people. You understand? God separated us from the other nations. That was a custom of the other of another nation, the Egyptians. They used to shave their head, they used to shave their beard, they used to shave their eyebrows, they used to shave everything. You understand? And since they used to do that, God said, listen, I don't want you taking after that custom. Alright? Watch this. You need beard. Because when you think about it, let's just say in the jungle, the lion, right? Ferocious animal. What do we eat? What do we have a that mane. a female lion don't have? A mane. A mane. Absolutely right. Because what? That shows power. Right. Manly. Manliness. You understand? Right. You heard that, my brother? We cannot shave our beard. You can trim it. Shave it down to your face. But as far as shaving it totally off, God is against that. You understand? Three. Come on. This is the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Beard. A badge of manly dignity. A what? A badge of manly dignity. A badge of manly dignity. Y'all understand that? I understand. Because what? When you got your beard on your face, more than likely, who tells you to shave it off? 
jobs and stuff like that. The white man, he don't want you to keep a beard on your face because it's a badge of manly dignity. They think they the only men out here. They call us two-fifths of a man. That's why they don't want us to keep our beard. You understand? They call us boys. Because what? Who's the only people that don't have a beard? A boy and a woman. So a beard shows your manliness as a badge of manly dignity. Come on. The Israelites were forbidden to shave off the corners of their beard. Right? Probably because it was regarded as a heathenish sign. The heathenish sign. I just told you that was of another custom of another nation. You understand? So God don't want us to do that. So these are the laws, statutes, and commandments that we must remember. Make haste and delay not to keep. Alright? Here's another one. Read that. Read numbers. Numbers 15, verse 38. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel. So you know you're you're uh, Israelite. All praise to the most high. Read. And bid them. And what? And bid them. To bid means to command. You understand? Command them, read. That they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. See this? This is fringes. You understand? We had to make these in the borders of all our garments. When we were just regularly wearing them out in the streets, when we uh, have actual garments on, we have to keep fringes on. You understand? This is why, read. In the borders of border of their garments, come on, throughout their generations, throughout their generations, we're still generating. So we have to continue to keep this law. You understand? Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders, and upon this fringe, see this? Upon the borders of it, we have to put what? A ribbon of blue. See that right there? Right. right. A ribbon of blue. We do everything thus saith the Lord. That's right. Is in this Bible? We doing it. Because what? Because God said, if you don't, you're in the midst of sin. You know what sin is? Yeah. Okay, all praise. Do you know what sin is? What's sin? Sin is when you not, not obeying God. Not obeying God. Okay, get sin. Transgression of the law. All praise to the most high. Let me help my brother out real quick. Give me sin. Watch this. The this is, these are the questions that we need to be asking. What is sin? Because I heard that sin is going against God. So what is sin? Let's hear it. What's sin? Read. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Read. Whosoever committeth sin. Whosoever of the Israelites commit sin. Read. Transgressive also the law. Come on. For sin is the transgression of the law. See that? Sin is breaking God's laws. Right. So you understand? Yes, One of the laws we went over, can't shave your face. Another law we went over, gotta have fringes on your garments. You understand? These are the laws that we don't know. Because we think it's only ten, right? The Ten Commandments. But it's more than that. It's more laws that we must keep, that we have to keep. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.